Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Earlier this morning, Todd McFarlane took to his Twitter to show off the brand new Spawns. I'm calling it Spawns Universe because in collecting Spawn for so many years, when you say Spawn now, it gets relatively confusing, right? So with all the new comic books coming out, you got King Spawn, Spawn's continuing, the Gunslinger, etc. Isn't it a little bit easier to call this Spawn's Universe? Because that's really what the whole brand is now going towards. This bigger universe featuring all of the different Spawns and iteration. It's like into the Spawniverse, right? Like Spider-Man is doing and Dark Knights. Everybody, <laughs> as far as comic books are related but uh, yeah, they did show off Wave 2 of the new Spawn Universe line. And just as an FYI, if you're interested in these figures, I will have links in the description below for Amazon and Entertainment Earth. The only three figures that are going to go up as of right now, you can get them, are the Gunslinger, the new Dark Redeemer, and the Soul Crusher. The new Jessica Priest, She Spawn, and Saigor will go up at a later date. They did say probably next week, but depending on when you see this video, just say it's not going to be tonight, it's not going to be today, but coming soon. And I'll have links on my social media for when they do. So let's go ahead, jump right into it. First and foremost, we're going to be getting the Dark Redeemer. And this, I feel like if they would have made him like somewhat purple or took the wings and just gave him a purple cape or something like that, even though it's not really the anti-spawn. It's not really the Redeemer in the sense of what we're kind of getting now. As far as I know with spawn comics and such, this is just a repaint. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's the same figure, if I'm not mistaken. He did an interview with a comic book guy on YouTube and uh, it was like a photo uh, he showed on his cell phone. So this is the Dark Redeemer. It's not quite the Reaper either. So... I'm going to take it as, unless you know, and you want to comment below and help me out, as far as I know with Spawn, yeah, this is just a repaint to make him look cool. <laughs> I'm telling you, if they would have put some purple in there, I mean, it's cool looking, but, you know, it's, it's another repaint. So we've, this is like the third Redeemer, and we're barely into uh, Wave 2. But, uh, you know, hey, that's a 90s McFarlane trope right there, right? Nice packaging. The side of the box shows the other Redeemer that we got with Wave 1. So, <laughs> hey, go figure. But uh, moving on to... Now, this is a new character. And when I saw the original promo image when they're showing off the Wave, I sw I thought it was the curse at first. You know what I mean? I didn't even really... I just... Oh, and then I go, oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's different. So this is the Soul Crusher right here. And he is... A rel I mean, like a really new character. Uh, they kind of teased him a little bit. He kind of looked... A lot of people are saying, like, kind of looks like DC's Ratcatcher in a way. But highly weaponized. He's going after Spawn. He's going after Cyan. And it's, it, it's just like... It's building. So it's a story in progress sort of deal. So again, he's a relatively new character. Unless he turns out to be an old character or some, something like that. But... As far as we all know, yeah, he's got like the whole rat catcher thing with the green hood and a ton of weapons. And the figure looks to really emulate that. And I can honestly tell you that it's nice to see spawn figures with guns, right? Appropriately styled. Of course, some people are saying, well, how come spawn can do it? And Warner Brothers is not letting McFarlane do his guns, right? Well, it's a completely different entity. McFarlane controls spawn. That's his baby. And... DC is Warner Brothers, so they would naturally call the shots on that whole thing. So, hey, we're lucky enough that at least the Spawn characters come with guns, and if you get these characters as well, you can probably use them with your DC Multiverse figures where appropriate. I like the style of this guy. I really wish some of these characters would have more of a cloth cape. That recent Batman Year 2 is a perfect example. Having both, or really a cloth cape, really can make a figure, and it looks elegant. This Soul Crusher is going to have like a, you know, a plastic cape, comes with a larger gun, comes with a smaller pistol gun, but looks to be detailed out. And I hope that what you see in the promo photos is the exact amount of detail and paint that we're going to get in the finalized version. And again, 
Cool packaging, green overall, so I'm excited. This gets me excited for Spawn when we finally get a new character. You know what I mean? Like one we've never had before in the Spawn franchise. So that is pretty cool. And then we're going to be getting the Gunslinger again. I was sort of calling this Gunslinger 2 because I'm so used to, you know, old Spawn toys, you'd have Spawn. And the next wave would be Spawn 2, Spawn 3, etc. And this looks to be, like figure-wise, just him by himself, the same Target exclusive Gunslinger looks to be the same guns and instead of the what the rifle this time around he's going to come with a big old gatling gun so if you did miss the target exclusive version then i think you'd be in safe bets i mean the only thing for a gunslinger that you absolutely i think have to have are his two revolvers so gatling gun rifle it, it really doesn't matter either way although he did have the strap on his back where you could fit the rifle so yes it was cool in that sense but if you're just the kind of person that just wants the gunslinger spawn, well, look no further. And again, like I said, if you want any of these three figures right now, I will have links down in the description below. So to move on, we also have two other characters that are part of this wave. They go up for pre-order later on. This is the She Spawn. This is the newest She Spawn. I think, I, I want to say like, I think it's issue 300 because, you know, everything kind of re-kicked off around that line but this is not the nyx she spawn like the older she spawn and everything else this is the jessica priest like if you've ever seen the old spawn movie with uh, julie cooper from the oc <laughs> as uh, jessica priest this is the comics version jessica priest she's she spawned now so she's like a red-headed biker chick tons of guns and chains and everything else and i have to say you know we don't have other promo photos much like the Amazon and Entertainment Earth listings that have gone up. So this is like the main one that you're looking at. That's how you're going to see her for right now. But just in that, she's got like chains wrapped around the guns and everything else. She looks to be that red and black. She's got the biker jacket with the skull pads and everything else. So yeah, it looks to be pretty cool. I'm actually excited because yet again, much like Soul Crusher, that is a new figure to get. And same with her in terms of coming soon to pre-order we have the new Cygor figure and while i love Cygor, i mean <laughs> how many Cygors can you really have right i'm sure it'd be a great figure they you know the new ones they're they're totally different thing they're a new style new animal and everything else from what spawn figures have come before so i'm curious to see how he ends up being i'm uh, most likely i'll just say it looks to be probably a more deluxe style figure probably in the higher price point, probably around 40, much like the DC Multiverse Swamp thing. So hopefully we'll say like more around the clown price tag with the, the two giant guns from Wave 1. So in either sense, he looks to be basically a mix of old and new in a way, mostly old, which is which I think, because the new one, he has more like a full, Cygor changes all the time. But in either case, I am, I'm excited for a couple of these figures, I'll just say. Because the Gunslinger, I feel like I already have him. And the Redeemer, it's a cool color scheme, but not necessarily something that I absolutely have to have. I'm all about She Spawn and the Soul Crusher and most likely picking up Cygor. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about these new Spawn figures. Will you be grabbing? What Spawn character do you want to see them do? Absolutely. Like they have to make it. They never made it. It's something to that degree. For me, I kind of like to see Haunt, you know what I mean? I think that would be a cool one. And maybe some of the newer, like, bigger spots. I mean, it's a lot of them have been taken out, like, real quick. But yeah, you know, to be honest with you, I would love a good old-fashioned bag of demons. I think that would be really cool and just to have that on the shelves. Or, yeah, you can go the McFarlane store routes. But on the shelves would be really cool. But I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn's universe. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to Spawn, yes, it's confusing as all holy heck, but the action figures are always there for us, right? They're always pretty cool. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.